Hi everybody, I'm Chris Jansen again, founder of TriathleteMind.com and your coach for mastering the inner game of triathlon. This is the fifth video in the series of eight and a half steps to making this your best triathlon year ever. In the next few videos, including this one, we're going to start laying the foundation that you can use as a bit of a launch pad to help you stay on target, on track, and inspired to making this a great season in triathlon for you. You know, what I've found in coaching dozens of people from uh, dozens of people from dozens of countries and of all ages is that having ambition to succeed is rarely enough. In fact, having a high level of consistent motivation also is great, but it's rarely enough. What really matters, I'm sure you'll agree, is what happens to you on a daily basis. It's what you think and how you behave day in and day out. It's really setting up those little habits. Now, you know, my situation is going to be very different from your situation as it is from the person next to you. But the thing that ties us together is that, in fact, we're human and we are creatures of habit. And sometimes it's easier to stay doing what we're doing rather than breaking out of that and doing something new. So step five is really looking at what patterns are you, have you been repeating? What has been helping you and what's been holding you back a little bit? So let's take a, look at, take a look at two aspects related to this. First of all, what patterns do you repeat that prevent you from performing at your best? I mean, what causes you to skip training sessions? How do you respond with pain or injuries? What do you say to yourself when the training or racing gets really tough? And what do you say to yourself when that alarm goes off first thing in the morning before sunrise? That's a tough one sometimes, isn't it? And actually, what ways are you been procrastinating or maybe not as disciplined as you'd like to? Be really honest in these answers because this is what really will set you free. Of course, there's a flip side to this as well. And sometimes it's about what can you be doing instead? The key about breaking habits is not just breaking them, but it's also replacing them with something better. So what new habits and patterns do you want to create this year? What are some things you may not want to do, but you know you must do in order to achieve your goals? Think about how you train, how you approach that, how you manage your diet around your nutrition, and maybe how you manage some of your life around it as well. So take a few moments and answer both of these questions, because this is where the rubber starts to hit the road. If you can design empowering habits, you are well on your way to making this a great season. If you haven't yet downloaded the free workbook that goes along with this video series, go to www.triathletemind.com and you get the entire guide to guide you through step by step through creating a great season for you. I'm Chris Jansen, helping you to achieve your potential and exceed your own expectations along the way.